leading up to your big win. How well do you feel you're prepared for the finals? Yeah, we feel like we've um, uh, tied away the, uh, the finals berth nice and early this year and uh, we've been able to prepare a few of the players and get them to the the right point where they you know, hopefully contribute and uh, be at their best at the right time of the year, which is uh, the right time now. Bill just spoke about the challenges in the midfield, two quality midfields. What sort of planning will you do uh, to know Fargo's Perth? Yeah, we've um, obviously they've got they're very talented. They go pretty deep in there, and they're, and they're quite uh, quite good in most areas. And uh, we just got to make sure we match them in the contested ball, and uh, also making sure that we nullify their ball use and uh, we hurt them the other way as well. So, bit of bit of toing and throwing, and uh, find out where the where the, the the level lies, and make sure that we do it better for longer. Are you um, confident going in with the track record against? Oh, we're always confident with our game plan and, and what we go, how we go about things, but um, we just got to make sure that uh, we get our game, game style right and make sure that we do what we can at our best and uh, the rest will take care of itself. What have you learned from the last couple of years of playing finals without much success? Oh, I think we've had quite a bit of success. We've just been a bit unlucky in, in certain parts of it. But um, what we've learnt, uh, well, I can't really say. We, we sort of know uh, the teams that we're playing and what we've got. Um, probably tap into someone like Nick Subin uh, over the next week or so and make sure that he talks to a lot of the, the, the group of boys and, and uh, let him know, or he'll let them know what it takes to, to actually win finals and uh, be at your best. What, what's he brought to you this year? Oh, his, his talent is, you know, there's no doubt about that, but his, uh, his demeanour and the way that he's interested in, in his buy-in as a, as a person is, is just fantastic. Well, last year, we, or well, the last couple of years, we've brought in blokes like um, young Ho Shane Hockey, and uh, he's, you know, he, he was wonderful for a player like uh, Timmy Kelly to get elevated to the AFL. And this year, you know, with Nick in there and, uh, and Marlon Pickett starting to play more of the midfield, he's been a great mentor for, for Marlon and a couple of the other young guys that have been introduced through the midfield. And yeah, so Nick is very, uh, very you know, 150-odd uh, AFL game, so he's, not, he's no slouch. So he knows what he's doing and, uh, and he's bring, he brings leadership, but also a lot of his knowledge. And, and yeah, he's, he's a pretty, pretty tough character too. Uh, I think we had a, a couple of close games this year than, than normal. Um, they've been very competitive, and uh, you, you don't take them light, lightly. You know, with the two uh, leading goal kickers in the competition, and, and I think a third one kicking thir thirty goals. So they've got a very talented forward line, and with their midfielders, uh, probably the the engine room there is very very talented. We just got to make sure that we uh, we counter that, but. Um, yeah, we, the results are, are what they are, but you know, it's an all-new ball game this week, and we start again.